Anyway. Oh no, that's uh, probably easy to make with pictures too. I'm also gonna post the next SCP picture. Uh, the only picture I could find it, it it does match the article itself. Um, but it's a Pokemon card. <laughs> well, actually, oh no. Well, no, it like the person who made it to like Pokemon card like style actually did really good on it. If you look at it. Yeah. It looks really nice. Uh, but its nickname is really sad. The obsolete laptop. There we go. Nobody. You can't give a chair PTSD. The GOC. Bet! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, were you ready to read about the obsolete laptop? Yes. Sure. Right. SCP-1739 is a Dell Latitude D800 laptop. SCP Bro, I used to have one of those. Well, you had the <laughs> I anomaly. had one of those. I had you're, this you're SCP. You're having nostalgia. It, oh my god. I need it. Where did I put that thing? I, Are you I have my guilty? No, I'm not feeling guilty. I'm thinking, like, I had my Wakaliwood sticker on it. Y'all know what... Uh, Wakaliwood is, like, the the publishing group that did Who Killed Captain Alex. It's one of, it's one of the greatest groups on Earth, of all things. Uh, all right. I, I, I have my Wakaliwood sticker on it, and now I want to find that. So, uh, I do want to ask you this question with the... The next sentence, if this is true with your computer. SCP-1739 has proven impervious to all attempts at destruction. Oh no, that, that bitch died years ago. <laughs> that, that bitch was like gasping for air after all the shit I downloaded onto it. <laughs> oh, what did you do? What do you think? I don't know. Oh. I'm a t I'm Listen, like chat. Fiction? Listen, child, I was a I, I was a particularly minded teenage boy freaking out about the prospect of losing net neutrality. Okay? So erotic fan fiction was what you downloaded? No. Sure. <laughs> sure, child. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Shut <laughs> shut up. I can't talk about it. Shut the anyway. fuck up. Let's move on. <laughs> but erotic fan fiction. I, I, I read a shut <laughs> Hold on. Shut Dragon Shush. I actually read it further ahead and it's it got even better. An executable uh, an executable file named gofetch.exe is located on SCP-1739's hard drive. Executing hmm. gofetch.exe opens three windowed applications. The first window contains an input field requesting date and time and Unix timestamp format. Only dates between January 1st, 2004, uh, 118 GMT, and what's GMT? Uh, maybe Global Standard Time? Maybe, yeah. Or, I ain't, uh, here, I'll just look it up. Yeah, cause now yeah let's can... get that uh, GMT time what is what is gmt time greenwich mean time what so, i don't think that's what that is uh, just a it's, hunch is it actually though like no i, I typed in it. child i typed in gmt and the first thing that comes up from google is greenwich mean time it is the time zone that encapsulates and is used by uh Let's see, that's uh, Iceland, sections of Africa, the UK, and Ireland. Oh, Ireland. So it's Brit. Yeah, so it's basically, it's, it's, it's Brit time. Yeah, Brit time. Ew. Anyway, and current time at the, and current time at the time of input are accepted with all others resulting in an error message. Subjects who enter a number within the correct range will disappear. The second window appears to be a client application for an unknown chat protocol. 
users will automatically give in the handle branch brine. After subjects disappear, the chat client can be used to communicate with individuals given handles that are variations of the name Isaac. These individuals claim to be foundation personnel existing in a divergent timeline created by the disappear subject's temporal relocation to a destination determined by the input Unix timestamp. The divergent timeline is reported to have been identical to this timeline in all aspects until the, the spontaneous appearance of experimental subjects. If such claims are true, SCP-1739 is capable of transporting subjects backwards in time as far back as January 1st, 2004. The third window is then. a computer-generated animation of a dog chained to a dog house. If a number of successfully entered the animation changes to a display of a woman unleashing the dog and throwing a ball in, into the distance, the ball then runs off screen after the ball. After a time period ranging from three days to seven months, the Isaac candle disconnects from the chat. At this point in time, the animation changes once more to display the dog running back with it. The deflated remains of the ball between its teeth. The dog discards the remains which fly off, off screen while the woman chains the dog back to the doghouse. On January 1st, 2004, SCP-1739 spontaneously appeared in the containment and containment sector redacted which was previously vacant. Okay, so there's a there's two level four clearances. Should we keep going further or do we need or are we good? Might be good to continue. Yeah, because I'm i I'm confused as how the fuck is this a keter? <laughs> yeah, like as of right now, this is just an easy safe class. I don't see I I'm guessing it I turns mean, people it, into it sounds cheese. like a nice computer, but it doesn't sound dangerous. Am I missing something? Right. It's literally just an indestructible computer that you can use normally as long as you don't run that exe file. Yeah. Hey. And honestly, why the fuck would you want to click a random exe file? Especially after Sonic exe? Anyway. Sonic exe probably didn't even exist as a story when that computer was made. Probably not. Oh, it you know? might have. That's might not have. a too old model of computer. Yeah, anyways. Chat log 12. Forward. Three weeks previously on January 20th, 2014, at 10.30 p.m. GMT, D-22314 had imputed a number corresponding to the present time minus five seconds into SCP-1739. Smart supervising level four researcher, Dr. Redacted, represents Branch Prime. Isaac 67. Does the black moon howl? Branch Prime. Data expunged. Password exchange protocol is working then. I'm sending you the analysis of SCP-1739 taken after D-22314 appeared in this timeline. Isaac 67 has uploaded redacted. Our research team compared it to the analysis of SCP-1739 that was taken before D-22314 appeared. The two are identical. There's nothing that suggests that a change in this timeline instance of SCP-1739 is what's causing us to spontaneously log out. Hmm. And at the same time, the change that it that I'm just some construct of the executable file itself is becoming increasingly unlikely, isn't it? Well, who knows? Chat log 19. Isaac 67. Does the black moon howl? Branch Prime. Data expunged. This is a breach of protocol, but it doesn't matter. In all likelihood, the O5 is going to censor this on your end, but they're too busy to stop me on this one. What's happening? I have answers. I know why I'm going to disconnect very shortly, but first a question. Is your world ending? I don't know what you're talking about, and no, I have no reason to believe that the world's ending. I hope you're not acting. Well, I know you're not acting, because I'm not. And no amount of pressure or coercion can, can change that. 
which means the same for you. That's all I needed. I want you to go to the O5 Council when they ask you why you've come. Give them this document. I-667 has uploaded, redacted. The cause of the disconnect is the destruction of this universe. But while this universe is ending, yours isn't. There's only one point of divergence. We don't know whether this thing is meant to put people on a lifeboat or exile them into a sinking ship. The latter seems far more likely, regardless. I want you to read the document before you give it to the O5. Look for the warning signs. There are certain patterns that hold the universe together, and I know, but you don't have that heat death is only the beginning. Afterward, three hours later, Isaac 67 disconnected. That's just from the first level four clearance. So, ah! so that means that the world ends when they disconnect on oh. their side. Yeah, on their side. Oh, so no. this SCP is constantly destroying worlds. That's not what this says at all. This means that one of the people that went through half uh, the world they went to was destroyed. Yeah. So and it, when it when yeah. it turns off uh this is fucked. Anyway, we, we, should we read the, the final level four clearance? Yeah. Alright. Because as of right now this still seems like a safe class. Forward, experimental procedure has been reproduced using D-22358 as test subject. Isaac-132, does the black moon howl? Branch Prime, that expunged. I've realized that they really could not have chosen a worse person to research this object. I would strongly recommend that you resign immediately. Please explain. I'm surprised that you think that. It's written in glasses of water and daily class 5 paramedication, but don't worry about that. I'm trying to be as private as I can. You already know what I know. What's your point? I'm sorry and thank you. For what? At last, I found a meaning to life and existence. This entire universe was made for one specific terrible purpose. I'm about to fulfill that purpose. SCP-1739 has nothing to do with the exile or salvation. The lifeboat slash sinking ship analogy that the other one proposed is incorrect. SCP-1739's usage is responsible for, responsible for the destruction of these universes in the first place. Oh! Ultimately, yes. ultimately, the animation in the third window is the key. It's nothing but a cheeky metaphor for the ap apocalypse. What? Let me explain. I follow the plan. I know the warning signs. I use them to see the end coming. It's no natural phenomenon. All signs seem to indicate that what's about to destroy us is actively malevolent. It comes out of time and space and tracks its prey. We can even see where it's last been. The universe that was destroyed in a previous experiment. The end is the dog. Something incompatible incomprehensibly terrible. In both senses of that word, something that can destroy an entire universe just by passing its shadow over it. But I can also see that somebody had chained a dog to the ha do doghouse. Wait, why is there a problem if the dog is chained? I'm not quite sure about, the, about that, that question yet. Not that I have the time to answer it. Anyway, I guess that either the chains are too weak. The dog is too strong, or there are some things that even chains cannot hold. But the Foundation has encountered the same problem before, so we can infer what's happening here. We've contained items that can't be held entirely by chains. If we can't completely stop the object from doing something, the object can find a way around whatever restrictions we place. Then sometimes the best bet is to take off the chains in a controlled setting. And let the object's anomalous properties manifest where they won't damage anything important. In this case, the object is the object in containment. And the SCP-1739 is, is a very elaborate and specifically de designed special containment procedure operating on that same principle. I think I understand. 
upon reflection, that's quite sickening. This device could send people back into the past, creating entire branch timelines. As sacrificial distractions, to what end? Throwing balls and a game of fetch to keep the dog's energies in check. Ah, well, as an employee of the Foundation, I can't complain, can I? You wouldn't complain either way. Yes, you're right. I'm very selfish after all. Oh, well, that's not the point. Somewhere there is a person living in a timeline where SCP-1739 never deposits a traveler from the future. This person very much does not want the mad dog to grow too restless. Your foundation and your O5 council should hope that they are existing in this timeline. Stop sending people back into the past. Alright, I'll forward this information to the O5 council. Even if I don't object, it's certainly... It's cer certainly that the ethics committee will. How much time do you have left? A couple seconds. But I spent my entire life patiently waiting, and I have no intention of hurrying now. It's rather surreal for you, isn't it? It is. I'm envious. <laughs> well, it's been a pleasure. Isaac 132 has dis disconnected. Afterward, following the evaluation of the previous test logs, the O5 counselor, Council has transferred Dr. Redacted to a different project. Ethics community investigations are ongoing. Addendum 1739A Operation Smokescreen is underway to prevent SCP-1739 from depositing travelers from the future. Research regarding SCP-1739's primary focus is to contribute to these efforts. Furthermore, the O5 Council has indefinitely banned any experimentation with SCP-1739 that involves sending travelers to the past. And that's the entity. Hmm. Oh, so it's an indestructible dis destroyer of worlds. I guess my big thing here is I I don't really see how this is here. Because like, yeah, it seems to be able to destroy other realities. And it is potential that someone will be sent back into the past and end up destroying our reality. But the laptop is the object, and it's not the thing. Like, if we just leave it alone, and that's going to happen anyway, then it's going to happen. Besides that one aspect of its functionality... It's literally just an indestructible laptop. You can just put it into a box. The laptop doesn't try to escape. I think this is why it's a good idea that they've started to switch over to using more classifications that are specifically based around their danger level. Because if I had yeah. to put this somewhere, I would put this as like the base classification as safe and then the danger level as high as it can go. Yeah. But we're working with what we have now, so... Uh, I guess because it's connected to some kind of thing that's causing end of realities, it would probably most fit in XK. I'm just iffy about whether or not it should be considered a Keter or not. Yeah. That's fair. It most certainly is dangerous in that respect, but I just yeah, I not... think it would be an extremely dangerous safe class. Yeah, you're not thinking as part of CK. Oh wait, yeah, is it that? That's oh, yeah, the is reality it that... one. <laughs> That's yeah, the reality is it... one. Is it that the worlds are being destroyed, or that their entire realities are being destroyed? Wait, no, it just said it only said world. So yeah. <laughs> That's all it said yeah. in the article. It didn't say reality, it said it, world. Aderna? Aderna? Yeah. Oh, okay. It sounded like you like tried to say something and then broke up.
I guess Derna didn't have to say anything. Oh, I was... Your what? I think Adarna's having Discord troubles. Uh, oh no, I am I'm having uh getting my thoughts together troubles. Um, yeah. Ah, okay. Anyway. This so fat we... drunkard is kicking my ass. What? <laughs> Mortal Kombat. Alright, so the next SCP actually I think it kind of sounds interesting it and Sounds interesting. Hold on. Hold I'll that post thought. The I, uh, hold that thought. I need coffee. Okay, we can go on intermission. I'll just post a picture. Yeah. There you go. You can see it before you get coffee. <laughs> it's the black helicopter. Yeah, I'll be back. All right.
a reason. Fuck you, oh. Streamlabs. Piece of shit. Oh, yeah. You know that Creative Commons thing that I've been doing? With YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, you know how they say they don't support the cop uh, copyright claims people? Like, they don't yeah. choose sides or whatever? Yeah, I call bullshit, because... I remember... Labeling everything I uploaded as Creative Commons license. Like, you had to choose either standard license, YouTube's license, or Creative Commons. Yeah. Get a copyright claim on the Castle Crashers thing. Video I did. What? And guess what happened? It was what? changed to standard YouTube license. The, the fuck? The... That's what I call bullshit. Bullshit, uh, they don't support them. Motherfucking bullshit. I think you should change the. You should. If you haven't already, you should definitely change it back to Creative Commons. That's bullshit. Actually, when you have it in Creative. When it, anything that's like uh, under a copyright claim, you cannot change the license. The fuck? Yeah. So, you'd have to remove it just so you could... Either you, uh, fight back, or... You'd have to remove submit. it and put it back. Either submit or fight back. That's basically it. I'm not one of those type of people that submit. hate to say it. I mean, you've already seen me have a copyright strike on one of my channels. You definitely know I don't submit. So, this time... Uh, it's not like they can actually fight back. Because what I've noticed is... It's because... I, I have the license posted in the description, as well as I send it to them, they don't seem to fight back anymore. They just, like, wait the 30-day period, and then the claim gets released. The only thing that bothers me is that they don't ask, like, the money to not no longer be monetized. Like, the videos are allowed to be monetized if I get ability to monetize my videos I, that just confuses me well that 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 breaks the purpose of copywriting a video what would be the point the copywriting it I don't know I've given up trying to understand these dumbass motherfuckers I'm sorry. It's fair. I return. Oh, hey, Hatchet. We My weren't talking. My head hurts severely. You good? Yeah, I've been. There's a there's a cold front moving through where I live, and that always gives me a headache. All right. Maybe you should lay down. Yeah. No, I'm fine. Right. You, you gotta keep in mind, I've spent my entire, like, I think I've spent probably a total of half of my existence with a severe migraine. Like, well, not a severe migraine, but with a headache of some sorts, this is nothing. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I'm oh. just in pain. Okay. But also, looking at this uh image i'm wondering if we're going to get another scp that seems to be inspired by a conspiracy theory yeah. well Maybe. because because yeah. this image makes me think of the black helicopter conspiracy theories the idea that there's these unmarked black helicopters flying around america surveying everyone you know 
it's you might be correct because its nickname is called a phantom helicopter yeah although in actuality if i'm not mistaken uh the black helicopters were literally just another one of those things that the cia did to like stoke conspiracy theories because it actually helped them hide their actual conspiracies yeah similar to the men in black like they would just have guys get into these black helicopters and fly around for a while and fucking a- alien nuts out in the boonies would lose their shit <laughs> Yeah. All right. Okay, maybe not what we thought it would be. All right. SCP-1745 is an intangible Soviet helicopter. Superficially, it is identical to the MIL-MI-24D. Though it appears to be entirely incorporeal, transversing through any and all physical obstructions with no observed effect on either body. Given its absence of mass, the reason for its visibility is unclear. In addition, SCP-1745 generates noise consistent with a non-anomalous aircraft of identical make, despite no clear source of the sound. The apparent condition of the aircraft varies between featuring severe damage, and being pristine. SCP-1745's presence causes immediate damage in all electrical circuitry within the approximate 300 meter radius. The exact cause of this damage is unknown, though it universally demonstrates signs of severe overheating due to this close-range electronic observation recording and testing of SCP-1745 is generally impossible. Wait, then how did they get the picture up that close? Mm-hmm. That's a good question. <laughs> Wait a minute. It also Wait a minute. A picture. <laughs> In which case, yeah, I think, I think this is based upon the black helicopter conspiracy theories, because uh. I remember another aspect of them being a bunch of people claiming that they're fucking handmade radio electronic gizmos that they made to track aliens or whatever started malfunctioning coincidentally when the when the CIA agent piloting a black helicopter went over and it absolutely had to do with that helicopter and not my extremely bad electronic building skills <laughs> Conspiracy yeah. theories are so funny, but so fucked at the same time. Yeah. Alright. I'm I'm fascinated by a lot of them, but... Blah. Yeah. I find them interesting until they start getting in the way of actual and intelligent-like yeah. research. Yeah. Yeah, like, they're a fascinating thing to study, but they're also obviously not a good thing to encourage. There's... There's very, it's very rare that there's a cons- like a conspiracy theory that's actually like has something to it. Like I think the two biggest examples are uh, FBI killed MLK and uh, the U.S. government was behind JFK's assassination. Like those are probably the most substantiated conspiracy theories, and even then, there's not hard evidence for them. So we shouldn't be going around saying, no matter what, 100% this did happen. It's less of an oh, yeah. issue with the MLK thing because MLK's death was just so consistent with the way that FBI treated Black Panthers at the time. But uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. But was- like for rights groups they were all called terrorists at the time including yep. martin luther king not just the black panther party and well, yeah. uh, while none of them were violent groups they were treated like a violent and aggressive groups simply for asking for equal rights yeah and, and the reason they don't do that with martin luther king is because people like him now yeah like the uh um the what was i gonna say 
The other thing that I saw people point out uh, is like all all of these civil rights groups were obviously on the FBI shit list, like at all, because the FBI fundamentally exists to uphold the status quo. But it's like specifically a pattern of black like civil rights movers who are also socialists who are also very left leaning economically that end up getting shot yeah more frequently like martin luther, if i remember correctly martin luther king junior they obviously did try to do things like try to convince him to auto homicide we literally have that letter from the fbi uh like they did that and then at some point, MLK started more openly talking about how capitalism is fucked. And it's just a little bit after he starts really getting down to talking about that, that he shot in a town that has a lot of FBI presence at the time. He knew what was going to happen, didn't he? Honestly, any civil rights mover at that time had to expect that at some point someone was going to come up to them and shoot them. As fucked as it is to say that, that's the general political climate at the time. Well, they had to be ready to deal with it. Had, apparently he had been expecting it for a while because they had already been following him so closely and taping his every like uh, phone call, which sounds crazy as shit, especially for back then. Yeah, like, uh, anyway. So, yeah, point being, because we do not have hard proof, because the FBI has not openly said we did in MLK, it's still considered conspiracy theory. I just also think that it is by far the most evidenced conspiracy theory out there. And, like, we can talk about how some conspiracies, like, you can kind of see where they're coming from from a motive standpoint, but most of the time fall flat when it comes to means. Like uh, NASA, like the US faking the moon landing, like you can understand that there'd be a motive to fake the moon landing. You want to beat the Russians. And it's almost the end of the decade. The, our, our dead president, the, M, uh, JFK, he said, we, we should endeavor to reach the moon within the decade. We have to do it in this decade but we aren't going to make it, so I guess we just fake it. Like, that is a logical line of motivation. But the U.S. government didn't have the technology to fake the footage in the way that it is consistent with scientifically what would be going on on the moon, specifically in the way that the shadows are cast. The light in the mm -hmm. videos is way too bright to have been done in a studio while also leaving a single shadow, which would obviously be coming from the fucking sun. If they were in an actual sound studio or in an actual sound stage at the time, they necessarily would have had multiple lights aimed on the astronaut actors, which would have cast multiple shadows. The only feasible way to achieve this would to be used at the time non-existent laser technology to cast like to build an entire wall of laser lights and cast that light in that order like in that manner in one direction that's the only feasible way that they could have done it and that technology simply did not exist at the time yeah what this is to say is that the moon landing happened but there's a little bit of meat to it. That's the best conspiracy to me. Like, there's a little tiny chunk of meat, something based in like an actual logical sequencing of motivation or reality. But it inevitably goes off the rails, and then we get into what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. Tangent uh, over. Yes. <laughs> All right. Anyway, on back to the SCP. Yeah. Oh yeah. We. <laughs> I, I had this tangent in the middle of an SCP. Yeah. Continue. Yeah. SCP-1745's presence causes immediate damage in all... Oh, wait. Sorry. Right. Yeah. Fucks up electronics. Generally. Yeah. All right. There it is. SCP-1745 appears to be att attracted to artificial radio signals. <laughs> okay. You're not wrong. That shit is the black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> 
<laughs> it's absolutely <laughs> this is absolutely based on the black helicopter conspiracy theories. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> We've had two SCPs tonight that are based upon weird, like, uh, a alien conspiracy theories. This is great. Yeah. I'm sensing a theme tonight. <laughs> All right. It's gone good. My snake cat has come to get, to get pets. Nice. Snake cat? I, I nickname my cat Yeoman Gunder Snake Cat. Oh. Yeoman Gunder Gunder and Snake Cat. Anyway, uh, how it determines whether or not these signals are artificial and whether it is able to to decipher slash comprehend the content of said signals is undetermined. With this aspect of SCP-1745 has allowed for the implementation of current containment protocols, it also presents a clear danger due to its tendency to be drawn to human civilization, its indestructible and intangible nature, and its adverse effect on electronic equipment, a breach of SB-1745 could potentially result in an, an arcane technological collapse. Yeesh. SCP-1745 was transferred to Foundation custody by Russian correspondent Redacted, in 1994, following a series of potential breach events, previous containment protocols developed by GRU Division P, aka Psychotronics, were adopted by, by Foundation staff, and all available documentation on SP-1745's history prior to 1994 was obtained from this exchange. Presently, it is believed that SCP-1745 originates from a MIL-MI-24D helicopter piloted by GRU-P agents and shot down over Redacted in 1979 due to open hostilities between Redacted and the Soviet Union at the time. Okay, we all know it's probably the U.S. Yeah, I don't... What? This is Cold War. Why are we redacting that? <laughs> yeah, we can tell it's the U.S. Like, the U... Like... I mean, it could be some other country that was sided with the U.S., but, like, yeah. the... Why, why, why redact that, but not the USSR? Right. It, it's just, like, in hindsight, some, like, SCP agent that's a massive patriot just doesn't want to bring up the United States in relation to the Soviets at all. Like, yeah. he just wants to wipe out history. Like, this is weird. I don't. This is this is weird. <laughs> no. All right. It is not believed that the attack targeted the GRU P specifically. While the incident yielded no survivors from on board the vehicle, a series of documents were recovered from the titanium case within the wreckage. I mean, we already know its classification because it already said what it was. If it broke out. <laughs> Well, it didn't say, an, like, it's not going to end the world. It's just going to cause an electronical crash. Well, a technological collapse. Yeah, like... Yeah. How do we classify that? World changing? Probably. Like, it's not the end of the world. It's just going to cause a shit ton of social upheaval. Yeah. Oh, I just realized this would be really bad if it flew over a hospital. No. Oh! <laughs> no shit, that's the logic... <laughs> Dude, that's, I mean, granted, they have backup generators, but I doubt that it would leave those untouched as well. But right. that's kind of the point of, like, negative effects of a technological crash, dude. <laughs> uh, should we read the notes, or? I mean, this seems pretty conclusive. Yeah. If y'all want to read the notes, then I'm fine with it, but. Uh, Jerry, Adarna? I have no interest in the notes, but sure. Uh, okay, so we got three no's. Uh, Adarna, you want to hear the notes? I mean, two no's, sorry. I'm fine either way. Okay, so we already agreed as pretty much world-changing. I mean, 
it doesn't seem like it's trying to do a real threat. It's just attracted radio signals. Yeah, it's just. I think it's probably just a non like a non sentient sentient helicopter uh, anomaly that's just like super turned on by radio signals. I can say that because the child's not. Oh hearing. no. Yeah. <laughs> so like, yeah, I think world changing is the most appropriate. It's not going to end reality, but it, 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 it would cause one hell of a problem to most of the world. Yeah. I'm fighting myself. What? I'm fighting myself. Yeah. The next SCP, which is... Uh, Dragon's Legacy is its nickname. Oh! Uh, it's not what I thought it was. Now I'm looking what at the it? picture. Why is there a record on screen? This is the Dragon's Legacy? <laughs> a vinyl? <laughs> That's a pretty shit legacy. <laughs> Just a single vinyl tape? Come on, man. Aim higher. Not even more than that? Yeah. Take just one, one vinyl. Take one to completely destroy a vinyl. Oh, great. This Damn. Also... Oh, no, Hatchet. You're going to hate this. There's Why? a bunch of black bars, which means redacted uh, information. <laughs> Why? Why are... Why have people... Be... Okay, no, no, no. Let's you know what? Second. I'm gonna make a joke. I'm sorry, Hatchet, but you're crying and redacted. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, this actually SCP doesn't have a high rating. It's only that's, that's a good joke. That's a really good. That joke. is a very good joke. Yeah, but also, um, yeah. I guess let's hope that there's. I guess let's hope that this isn't again just fucking lazy writing. Cover it up with black bars to excuse the fact that I can't fucking look up how to measure what the fuck a lot of radiation is. Fucking Christ. Yeah. I can literally, you know what? Here, let, let me give you a second. Uh, Would uh, you like to know? Sta start, starting. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Give, give me a second. Starting now. One, two, three. Someone else count for me. Four, five. Uh, Six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine ten. ten, and that's it. That's that's all the time I needed to look up radioactive measurements and find the amount of radioactivity is reported in Bacrel BQ, which is the international unit, or Gary CI, which is the unit used in the United States. That's all I had to do. And I misspelled it too. I I I eviscerated the spell spelling of radioactive measurements because I was stressed. I had I have radioactive with two V's <laughs> measurements with Oh, what did I do to measurements? Oh no measurements. Oh yeah, I, measurements with M E S S measurements. <laughs> <laughs> measurements, and Google still figured out what I meant and told me what I needed. It took me ten fucking seconds to do more effort than that fucking author did when it came to the radioactivity of their goddamn SCP. God fuck. God, God, God. So you know what I would have done to look to figure out how to make something really radioactive. Look up Chernobyl. Nah. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, like, if you want to look at a single incident, but if you're just wanting to talk about, like, this object has thus and thus large amount of radioactivity, you would basically just need to compare it to other things, decide, okay, how radioactive do I want this thing? Do I want this thing to be, like, like the demon core going, going critical? Do, do I want it to be, like... uh early stage elephant's foot like how radioactive do i want this to be look up the radioactivity of that and then bump it up or down based upon where you want it to be at like that's all you have to do like compared to the entire writing process this is as easy as 
making up period. Yeah. Like it's it's so simple. All right. Uh, this is this is something I just saw while I was re-looking to see if there's any words that'd be hard to to say. This is the only thing I think I'll have problems saying. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Um. <laughs> um. Here, let me let me read it. It is three men. <laughs> Stream planning. This this word what is. The- Three men. Three <laughs> men. There are three men. I don't even know if that's English. It's definitely not. Probably not. <laughs> if I had to guess, Russian, honestly, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was gonna guess Russian or Greek. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we write it here about Dragon's legacy of just one record. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Let's let's hear let's let's hear about this disappointing dragon whose entire legacy is a single vinyl track. That <laughs> might actually be like the name of a band or something instead. All right. Well, in that case, the band is a bad band because their entire legacy is a single vinyl track. That is a valid statement. Yeah. Anyway. You expect to compete with the Beatles if you only have one album out? Come on. SCP 1748 is a phenomenon manifesting as a looped audio recording of the Winter Road segment of Georgi Virdov's Snowstorm. So it's okay. So it's not even an album, it's just one song that's looped. Yeah, so this is like one of those old timey, uh, like records that would go on a jukebox. That's also, just, just one uh, snake in Russian. Ah, yeah. oh, then it's perfect that you found that out, Jerry. Hey, <laughs> Wait, he doesn't mean that's... anything that the snake found to the thing snake. No, no, no. What I'm saying is that you have an abnormal amount of expertise in the area compared to the rest of us. Well, who's that you? <laughs> anyway. Also, my snake cat is being very sweet and cute. Nice. Anyway. The locus f- uh, for this manifestation is always a device designed for containing audio recordings, including vinyl records, audio cassettes, and compact discs, through radios, MP3 players, USB drives, computers, and game consoles do not appear to be viable objects. Whether or not said object is currently containing an audio recordings of any kind is irrelevant. It is unclear what mechanism produces sound from this object. This locus is hereafter referred to as SCP-1748-1. SCP-1748 reduces the intensity when exposed to a sufficiently sized audience. And increases intensity when too few individuals are present. What determines the number of required individuals is entirely unclear, though this number increases exponentially as the intensity of SP1748 increases. Increases. Based on previously recorded data, it is believed that the intensity of redacted decibels will exceed the current estimated populace of Earth, at which point halting the growth would be impossible. At this time of, at the uh, time of this, yeah. So they redacted it so no one would like try to get to that decibel. Yeah. Or. Oh wait, I just touched it with the with the footnotes, with the footnotes thing, and it also says Russian uh, zame, which means snake or dragon. Looking it up on uh, on translation, all it said was snake, so... I could have used the footnotes the entire time. Dumbass. Oh, oh, literally, I, I'm pretty positive it just means snake, unless you use it in a specific way. Right, which is probably why it's called Dragon's Legacy. Legacy. Right. 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 Yeah. Right. Real talk. Real talk, friend. Check the footnotes. Yeah. Check the footnotes. 
Yeah, I'll do that every time there's like a number next to a word. I'll look at the footnotes. <laughs> that should be your first indication to go look at the footnotes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. At the time of this writing, SCP-1748 uh, fluctuates in intensity between redacted decibels and redacted decibels. <laughs> it's happening again, Hatchet. <laughs> <sighs> it literally could have yeah like what's like okay you want to you want to avoid telling people how many decibels causes this bad thing to happen i can respect that that makes sense why are we why are we why are we fucking redacting the decibels that it's currently at assuming that it is not currently at the catastrophic decibels why are we why are we doing that? Why are we being lazy with our writing? <laughs> because it's easier to be lazy, I think. Well, you know, it's also easier to just sign the fuck off and not write a story in the first place. <laughs> anyway. That's valid. Anyway. Uh SCB-1748-1 appears to be immune to damage from sonic vibrations produced by SCP-1748, should SCP-1748-1 be destroyed, SCP-1748 will transfer to the nearest suitable object. No maximum range for its occurrence has yet been discovered. SCP oh, so it, oh. it's a transferable one. Yeah. Holy shit, that's the, scary. This dragon's legacy that's is why getting it's here. a bit more interesting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hatchet, mm -hmm. you're not going to like this paragraph. Oh. Is it just oh, a black bar? Is the whole paragraph a black bar? Because at this point, that's what I'm expecting. <laughs> and make sure of black bars and dead egg sponge. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, All right, time to write the second paragraph of my <laughs> of, of, of my SCP. This is gonna this is gonna be a world renowned SCP. Everyone's gonna love my SCP. Okay. Paragraph two. On the date of data expunged, redacted data expunged. <laughs> redacted data expunged over and over for 12 paragraphs. Submits it. It gets rejected. I get dejected. I run away. The world is made better by my running away. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway. Anyway. All right. SCP. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Yeah. <laughs> SCP-1748 was initially discovered in Redacted, Russia. The Aaron Morgan Orchestra was hired by Redacted, a wealthy industrialist linked to the activities of Zeme, an occultist organization believed to be responsible for Redacted deaths in Eastern Russia. AMO was Why did they redact the deaths? What the f- Why would you read that? Well, that makes a bit more sense. It's a location, so you, you want to avoid letting people know exactly where it first started. Like, that kind of makes sense. No, they... They, they said... Yeah. yeah. They said Russia. Then they well, were reacting said... to the deaths. No, wait, Bright, read it back. SCP-1748 was initially discovered in redacted Russia. The... Aaron Morgan Orchestra was hired by Redacted, a wealthy industrialist linked to the activities of Zeme, an occultist organization believed to be responsible for Redacted deaths in Eastern Russia. The Okay, yeah, no, that is unnecessary. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Why are we covering up how many people died? That's, not, That's kind it's... of unnecessary. All right, here, here, let's keep going. Maybe they're too lazy to pick a number. Sorry. <laughs> they're scared of numbers. That is my conclusion. Oh, no! Anyway. AMO was commissioned to perform Winter Road on Redacted at Redacted's private ex estate. According, according to eyewitness testimony from a detained Zeme member, at the conclusion of the performance, Redacted, his servants, several other Zeme members, and several individuals from a group the witness could not identify gave AMO a standing ovation. During this, a number of Zeme members proceeded to enter the stage from near 
from the rear and murdered the musicians. In the aftermath, the performers were dead expunged, were used to construct several crude designs in at least one ident unidentified language on dead expunged, prior to the vinyl disc used for recording being saturated inside said mass, which did not damage the object for an as of yet unverified reason. I feel like that entire I, I feel like that entire statement just leaked out of my brain because I was too fixated on all the data data expunged. <laughs> the amount of redacteds has made it so that data is being expunged from my brain. Patrick? Is this a is this a serious mental condition? Probably. <laughs> should I Patrick? should I talk about this with my therapist tomorrow? Probably. Patrick? Yes. You needed that expunged. <laughs> I, mean, that was, oh, sorry, I kinda so needed funny. no, what I needed was that. That was good. <laughs> that was a good joke. Yeah. Like, it's such that a, was a good, good joke. joke because it's like it's so simple and dumb, but it's great. Because <laughs> like my brain's not expecting you to say that with like so much sincerity in your voice. <laughs> It's, it's it's comparable to like you know bright you know like I I've been meaning to say tell this to you for a while like you're one of the best data expunged I've ever data expunged. <laughs> uh, hey hatchet, I hate to tell you this, but this isn't the last of redacting. Of course, oh, of no. course it isn't. Of course it isn't. We couldn't get enough data expunged. I love having data taken out of my brain so that I can no longer properly function. All I really need is that it keeps my Mortal Kombat combos in there and I'll be satisfied. <laughs> anyway, continuing on with the SCP. Give, give me a second. I okay. got it. Well, actually, you can go ahead. All right. After the disc was removed from the, ma from the mass... And some A member delivered it to Redacted, who then gave some f form of hand gesture. Did they just flip them off? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> very good. Very, very good. Uh, Probably not nice for me to clap, but I'm yeah. not taking it back. Yeah. Several individuals entered the concert hall and murdered the Zeme members with automatic rifles. The eyewitnesses fled the chamber during this incident and was picked up 15 days later by Foundation Asset and redacted. Thanks to the intelligence provided by said member, a fa Foundation raid by Mobile Task Force uh, NU-15, also known as White Wolves, on Redacted's estate was organized on Redacted. Redacted was killed during the incident and the disc was recovered. A ser servant previously accounted for then fired upon NTF in 15, in injuring one member and destroying SCP 1548 1. The servant was killed in the fight. SCP 1748 immediately transferred to another vinyl disc containing Chekhovsky's. 1812 Overture, which was recovered, a later address to Redacted, and dated five days previously, was also retrieved. Um, excuse me, it's pronounced right. Tchaikovsky's. Tchaikovsky's? Okay. It's Tchaikovsky. Tchaikovsky. Oh, Tchaikovsky. Tchaikovsky. Okay. Great, I tried to do my Karen impression, and I fucked up. God damn it. Actually, it The kind Karen of, fucked up. It kind of fits, because Karen... <laughs> Karen's... I'm gonna stop. Um, actually... Also, everyone, I'd like to a aim your attention at my new name. The Data oh, well, my, my name is The Data Expunged. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Hello. Also known as okay. The Sassy Hatchet. This is... The this what? Is, if I also ever have known to... as the what? Sassy Hatchet. Sassy Hatchet. Sassy I'm gonna... Hatchet. Okay. Now oh, I, I want like a name tag. Now I want <laughs> now I want a name tag that says, "Hi, my name is Data Expunged." 
and then for pronouns, it's just redact. <laughs> As you can see, I've done nothing. Oh my god. <laughs> no, Bright, you have to put it in the brackets and you have to say the redacted. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know, I have something better than this. I'm going to uh go. I'm going to be a little shit and do something. Oh, oh no. no. Okay. This is a this is a miracle. <laughs> I've never heard Jerry ever doing something like this. <laughs> You don't even know what Jerry's okay. doing. So, uh, the interesting thing about that last pair, that last thing you read, right? Yeah. How they were specific about what guns they used to kill them. Oh, yeah. Like, semi specific. <laughs> Not like specific on the like type of guns, but like automatic wi wi rifles. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> so. We can so you're remember. gonna redact everything, but you're gonna like yeah. We can remember. We can remember to let everyone know that they were using some kind of automatic rifle, but we can't let them know how many people the Colt killed. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think that was like by the SCP Foundation to kill them or something. No, I thought it I was the cult. I thought it was the cult in Russia. That oh, I see what Jerry's doing. They're creating a roll. Um, hey, you weren't supposed to look. You fucking shit. <laughs> I I got notifications, so I decided to clear them, and then I saw that. Wait, wait. There's a new roll. The roll. I don't know. I, I'm I, making I'm not, it. I'm I didn't. Making I didn't, it. I didn't look at the name. I didn't look at the name. Okay, I, I guess you'll. That was new role. I guess you can just reveal it to us when when you are ready. Let's just okay. right, let's, let's continue with this. Let's hear. Let's see what the runner is about. And Hatchet, you're gonna love the information it gives. Two redacted. <laughs> Working with those oh troglodytes was certainly distasteful, but the result was most satisfying and invigorating. Be proud of the momental peace you have created. Its power and majesty knows only how to grow. Within the disc is the subline itself. We hope this letter finds you well and that you feel that power and majesty occupy your entire being. We hope you are also looking forward to phase two. Redacted. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this, this SCP I had want... more redacted than the, the virus. Hey, uh, yeah, and the virus and or do you mean like six ten? No, wait. I was talking about the. Was it? Wait, what was the SCP that had redacted a lot? I don't know. I know it was like it was One the... that you guys were like making fun of. Oh, the radioactive one. Yeah, it had more <sighs> redacted than that one. Oh yeah, it absolutely had way more redactus than that one. <laughs> this is just, like like that one. Yeah, I was. I'm even more pissed because like. Oh well, yeah, like because that. this had to do with some things that like go into my degree. Yeah. Yeah, like. Like, the first one was frustrating, because the redacted seemed to exist just to avoid a tense like. A, a, a at most 10 minute bit of research on Google. This one's annoying with its with its redacted. Because they just keep using them over and over and over again. So okay. much redaction. Why yes. does like why does this have this much redaction when like comparably to most other SCPs, like we know like uh, this is also, here's the thing. Why because... do I feel why okay? Oh. Why do I feel like they chose to okay. Um you know the like the like letter part? Why do I feel like that was what they started with? Then they did the rest of the sh the shit. Mm. 
I honestly, I don't. Mm. Anyway, I don't know. There's actually one thing I want to say. Uh, apparently, the contingency plans, you know, like to stop the SCP, contains okay. a lot of important information that was that could have been put into description. Oh. Dear God. All right, consistency Apollo A. The sound of SP seventeen forty eight shall be broadcast to all available Foundation site areas and sectors where, where hence said broadcast does not disrupt existing containment procedures, or other objects. Should contingency Apollo A be unsuccessful, contingency Apollo B must be enacted. Uh, Apollo B. Subject SP seventeen forty eight dash one SP electromagnetically suspended in a gears perfect vacuum chamber where it shall be contained indefinitely 10 additional objects capable of serving as scp 1748 one shall be contained in an identical manner in facilities adjacent to the main chamber absolutely no other items capable of becoming scp 1748 one shall be allowed within one kilometer of, of the containment chamber it should be noted that while scp 1748 cannot propagate through a perfect vacuum, previous observations have confirmed that it is still produced and continues to grow in intensity without an audience. Given the implications of this evidence, contingency Apollo B must be considered at a last resort, as any containment failure following its implementation, no matter how slight or brief, is likely to result in an XK class end of the world scenario. That at least told us it was dangerous. <laughs> uh, oh. My internet you left me for a second. Uh -oh. uh, okay. What the fuck did I miss? Uh, I'll read consider C B, Apollo B, because it has more information than A. Alright. I'll reread it. SCP like seven it's the vacuum. Oh yeah, the vacuum. Uh, SCP-1748-1 is to be electromagnetically suspended in a gears-perfect vacuum chamber, where it shall be contained indefinitely. Ten additional yeah, objects... I, I, oh. I heard all that. Did you hear it should be noted I, that? That, uh, it, con it continues to increase in intensity? Okay, uh... Did you hear... Uh, uh, getting uh, what uh, what they classified its danger. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, so after the intensity with our audience, given the implication of this evidence, contingency Polo Dash B must be considered a last resort, as any containment failure following its implementation, no matter how slight or brief, is likely to result in an XK class end of the world scenario. So the contingency plans actually say that how dangerous it is. Well, the description just is full of redacted and expunged. Uh, <laughs> yay. Well, we know where it goes. Well, that's if they absolutely had to do that, and it seems unlikely that they have to do that. Right. But we know it's like it, it can right. get that dangerous. Yeah, it can't get that dangerous if they just somehow run out of a decent amount of people to put the thing next to. Yeah. I'm killing my mentor. He's dead. I blasted a hole through his face. Notice how I didn't redact any of the important information in that paragraph? God damn it. My headphones get back in the computer. Bright has been redacted. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. So where are we, where are we gonna put this shit? Like, the, the, the redacted album. Uh, <laughs> I, get, I guess slap it in XK, cause, cause, like, like, it can potentially cause that, but it's if they're, like, have, have, Real bad issues, but it's just this is, uh, this is a shitty dragon's legacy, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, <laughs> I didn't expect that much redacted.